There are emergencies in every town, city, and neighborhood across the world. While many might be physical or emotional, the ones that often get the least attention are the ones that in many ways matter the most. Hello, I'm your host, William Satter, and welcome to Rescue 119. Psalm 119 tells us, I have stored up your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you. But for those who have not equipped themselves with God's word, there is always the 119 operator. We begin in the suburbs of northern Nebraska, where a young girl was spending the afternoon with her friend. What would follow would force her to question just how prepared for an emergency she really was. Casey Allen was spending the afternoon with her friend, Hannah, after basketball practice. Casey was a Christian and went to church. Hannah was a friend from school who was a non-Christian. During a casual talk, they got onto the subject of Jesus. Well, the point of Jesus is... That he was the son of God, and he came and saved everyone from their sins. Hmm. Well, Casey, he may have been a great moral teacher, but he wasn't necessarily the son of God. Well, he said it, he was the son of God in the Bible, and the gospel said he was too. Well, the writers of the gospel may have said it, but did Jesus himself say that he was the son of God? I mean... He encourages his followers to call God Father, and you call God Father in Heaven sometimes yourself. So, you know, he may have just been misinterpreted. It wouldn't be literal. Yeah, Jesus actually said he was the Son of God. <sighs> Prove it, Casey. Casey tried to think, but she couldn't remember any specific time when Jesus said he was God's only begotten Son. So she did the only thing she could think of. One one nine emergency which seems to be the problem. Well, I have this friend at my house, and she wants to know whether Jesus actually said he was God's son. All right, ma'am, I need you to calm down. And I know that he said he was his son somewhere, but I just can't remember where. Okay. And what's your name? Uh, Casey. Casey Allen. All right, Casey. Now, do you have a Bible in your house? Okay, it's uh, yeah, I think it's over somewhere. All right, then go get your Bible. And then come right back. I'll stay on the line. Come right back, okay? Okay, I will. Hello? I'm here, Casey. Do you have your Bible? Yeah, I have it right here. Okay, I'm going to point you to some verses, and I want you to look them up in your Bible as I go, okay? Okay, please hurry. All right, now listen, the first is John 3.16. In that verse, Jesus calls himself the only begotten Son of God. Oh, wow. All right, and another one I'm going to give you is Matthew 26, verses 63 to 64, where Jesus answers the high priest Caiaphas when he asks him if he's God's Son. Okay, great. Matthew 26? Yeah. All right, now, finally... John 8, verses 57 to 59, has Jesus saying that he is equal with God. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, now you need to remember this. You need to remember this stuff. Because you can't always, you won't always be able to reach us. So you need to start memorizing this stuff, okay? All right, thanks so much. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. With the answers in her hands, Casey was able to defend the gospel. Since that day, Casey has been reading God's Word and storing it in her heart. I learned that I can't always have my Bible with me, and that I have to memorize God's words and store it in my heart. And next time a situation like that comes, I'll be prepared. By calling 119, Casey was able to get the answers she needed. Unfortunately, it is still difficult to find counties with 119 rescue systems. Until all those are installed, people will have to prepare themselves for a crisis by continually reading God's Word and memorizing Scripture. Until next time, I'm your host, William Shatter, on Rescue 119.